should medicine that prevents consumption like Plan B be legal? I'm not opposed to birth control. We are following Rand Paul, the senator from Kentucky and the likely presidential candidate on a college tour through South Carolina. I think the future really is one that is not neatly divided between Republican and Democrat. Why are you coming to campuses? The enthusiasm kids have and the, I think, inherent belief in the right to privacy is overwhelming on campuses. And it doesn't matter whether it's Berkeley or the college at Charleston, kids universally think government's gone too far at snooping and looking at their records. This visit is in keeping with other trips to campuses around the country. The crowd was obviously mostly young people. We saw a pretty sizable contingent of uh, young libertarians from Young Americans for Liberty, sort of national libertarian group. Our generation is really kind of riding the middle line and looking at things less partisan and more independent. And I think he, he's done that a lot. Do you think the Republican Party can survive and adapt if over 80% of young people support same-sex marriage? I believe in old-fashioned traditional marriage, but I don't really think the government needs to be too involved with this. And I think that the um, Republican Party can have people on both sides of the issue. And you could rethink it at some point too. Republicans would like to think that young people will be receptive to their messages Thank on you. jobs and the economy because it's so hard for young people to get jobs today. We're all interconnected. Part of Rand Paul's appeal is that he is kind of uh, folksy, what you see is what you get. Uh, it's worked for him. So Rand has a fairly unconventional media strategy when you compare it to other elected officials. Get you all stuffed in one office here. He agrees to a lot of interviews. When you talk to young people, their whole life revolves around their phone. He can be sort of cautious, a little guarded, not what he says, just how he acts. So the tone of the event was just a little tamer than you might expect. Unlike a lot of Republicans, Rand Paul is actually going and talking to young people. So uh, that's worth watching.